thousands of people will take part in New Jersey's Sharing Network's 5K to raise money and awareness about the importance of organ donation. Joining me now is the Vice Pre President of New Jersey Sharing Network, Elise Glennon, and Jane Buckowitz. I said that right. Team Captain. Yes. Of, <laughs> got it. Of Team Buck. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Do we need the mic? <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Sorry about that. Excuse us. So, first of all, Jane, tell me a little bit about how you got involved and, and your son. Okay, thank you. Um, well, it was back in 2009. My son, Dan Buckowitz, was involved in a very serious car accident, and he suffered a traumatic brain injury at the time and became an organ donor and was able to go on and save three lives with his organs and up to 50 lives with the tissue he was able to donate. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible to know that it's that it, you could, it could have that reach. Yes. It, we, you know, we're so proud of him. Um, the one thing is that our family had the benefit that he actually had kind of recently mentioned to us that he checked the box on his license and that he was an organ donor. So with the unexpected tragedy, we didn't have to wonder about that. We, we knew his wishes, and that is something that now, um, as a representative of the New Jersey Sharing Network, that's one of the messages I like to convey, how important it is to have the conversation with your loved ones. Mm -hmm. And Elise, I, I, the, the statistic is kind of crazy. 4,000 New Jersey residents are waiting for an organ right now. Yes, they are. They so are. What, t talk to me about the need and how people can check the box or get involved. Yeah, right now, as you said, 4,000 New Jersey residents are waiting for a transplant. 115,000 are waiting nationally. And like Jane said, we really encourage people to talk to their family about their wish to be an organ donor. They can sign up at the motor vehicle or they can go online at registerme.org mm -hmm. um, and sign up right away. What's one of the biggest misconceptions that people have about organ do donation? You know, I think what it is is that people don't know and, and people are afraid of things that they don't know. So one of the other messages we're here saying today is learn more about organ donation. Mm -hmm. um, learn about how you can save a life at the time of your passing. Uh, get involved. Go to our website. Mm -hmm. um, and, and like I said, just learn more and get educated about it. And one of the ways to get involved is to come to the 5K. That's in a few weeks. I was on the website and Team Buck right now is number one in fundraising. Yes, we are. I'm yeah. proud to say. You are. So talk a little bit about this event coming up uh, in a few weeks. This event is is a tremendous way to celebrate life. What you'll see there, uh, we have two different locations, one in Long Branch and one in New Providence, and you will see transplant recipients celebrating life, life that was given to them by organ donors like Danny. You'll see families and teens like Team Buck coming together to celebrate the memory of their loved one uh, who gave that greatest gift in the time of their passing. Mm -hmm. You'll see living donors, hospital partners, community partners, all coming together uh, really to celebrate life promote awareness and about um, what a legacy you can leave on your passing. And May 19th is the first one, and then what's the next date? And June 2nd in New Providence. June 2nd. Jane, I can't imagine losing a son. What does it mean to you, though, to see and to know the effect that he's had so many years after he's passed away, Danny? Well, you know what? It, it means a lot to our family, to his dad and his sister and I, and to all the people that loved him. Um, you know, we, we often think how obvious it is that with organ donation, the recipient, obviously, their life gets saved. But I don't, I don't know if most people realize how helpful it is for the families of a donor um, to just have the knowledge that in losing our son, we didn't lose him completely because part of him lives on. And he was on his way to law school, right, at the yeah, time yeah. and everything. Thank you for sharing his story. We really appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. And thank you for coming in as well, Elise. And we hope more people sign up to be organ donors and come to the 5K. Yes, thank you so much for having us. Of course, us of spread course. This message. And for more information about New Jersey Sharing Network and the 5K Celebration of Life, visit our website, cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back.